Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, my name, my YouTube name has changed. I don't know if you've noticed. Um, I did recently get married, so I finally changed my last name on my channel. And um, if you are curious to see how I got this look, then please keep on watching. Okay guys, so we are just gonna go ahead and get started. I started my brows and I cleaned them up a little bit with the Wonder Pencil by NYX. This is like super easy and quick if you don't want to use like a concealer or anything. It's a little bit more lightweight. I'm gonna use the Stay Matte Rimmel Primer, probably just on my T-zone because this weather change, summer coming around, my skin is changing a lot and I don't know why or like what's going on. I don't know if it's the weather or just me getting older. I don't know how that works. So before we actually start the actual makeup part, I am going to show you guys these three things that I got my hands on um, at Marshalls. And yeah, I just gonna go ahead and show you. This is one of them, um, Japanese Eye Highlighter Fan. That's what it says. Look how cute this thing is. Literally, it was like three dollars. Um, and this brand's really good, and I saw it in the clearance section in Marshalls, and I had to get my hands on it. Um, I also found this Profusion Royals palette, and Profusion is actually really good if you have not tried them, especially for their price point. And you can find them at like TJ Maxx, Marshalls. Um, I know Target has them. I I don't know if um, Ulta has it. I think they do, but I could be wrong. Anyways, I got this for three dollars. I already had and like pulled the plastic off, but you could see right there. Oh, I think you can. It says three, and this was actually sealed, closed, and everything. I made sure, like I would not buy anything that was swatched and messed with and touched. So I made sure that it was not used, and I opened it last night, and um. There's this little plastic cover. And look how gorgeous this is. Sorry, like hit my camera. Is this not pretty? So I'm not very creative, so I have no idea what I'm gonna come up with with this palette. But this is a shimmer, shimmer. This is matte, shimmer, matte, 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 shimmer, shimmer, shimmer. So these are so pretty and I can swatch them for you. So I'm gonna swatch this gold one. I'll do two shimmers and two mattes. So there's um, the colors and look how pretty that is. Like, it's just like when the light hits it right, it looks even better. Um, and then I can do two mattes. So the mattes I'm not sure of yet because they're like colored mattes like we have a black matte and a blue matte and i think those are pretty hard colors to like do um but i think once you build them up and stuff like this is the brown matte and then this is the blue so it looks really good on swatches um but i think i mean on like the finger but then when you swatch it that one looks pretty good this blue one i'm not sure how that's gonna look it's kind of like the color of my shirt um, but see, like it is a little, it's not as like, bam, as like how it looks in the pan. And then the other thing I got is just, just lip, um, this lip gloss by Anastasia. And I already went ahead and opened it and everything. And this is in the shade, um, Amber. And when I first got it, I thought it was like a matte liquid lipstick. And when I opened it, it was actually a gloss. That's what it looks like. It's kind of like an orangey peachy color and I think it's really pretty, especially for summer. I'm gonna use the L'Oreal Infallible uh, Concealer to prime my eyelids. Okay, so we are primed again and ready and this feels pretty smooth. I'm gonna go ahead and go in with Cryptic. I'm using the other end of this brush to really uh, pack this color on because I'm going to try and attempt to do a certain eye look. Um, it's not one that I normally do, so we'll see how it turns out. Let's see if I can. So what I do is I look up because I have um, hooded eyelids, so 
it transfers as you can see. Start packing this on. Okay guys, so I am not very good at doing cut creases because of the way my eye is shaped with the hood lids and like that kind of stuff. So this is as good as we're gonna get. Like this is what you see, right? When I open it, you have I have like all this space. It's a hot mess. Thank you, pin. Guess what color I'm gonna use? And it says bright ass gold color. Hopefully it comes out really good on the lid. We're going to deepen the edges with um, this color madly. This is not coming out how I thought. I'm gonna add this orange on the sides and see if that kind of saves this look because I'm like, I don't really know what I'm trying to go for anymore. I can't get it to build up on this side. I'm just gonna add black. I'm gonna use this black right here. Honestly, not what I pictured at all, but this, this looks pretty cool. See, it's like you blend the black out and it's like leaving a harsh line. I don't, I don't know why. So I'm going to try and really pack this black. It's like hard to blend it because then the black goes away. So is this my eye look? I don't know. <laughs> this is a hot mess. Okay, so this looks kind of like trash but kind of cool at the same time. You get up close and it's like a hot mess. So on this side, we are not gonna do this again. We're gonna do a two looks with one palette kind of video. And we are gonna do something way more simple on this side. I don't know who I think I am. I don't know what the heck I was trying to do. So this side is primed and set. I am just going to, we'll do the same colors, but, um, well, no, maybe I shouldn't use the same colors. I think I'm gonna do the silver. So I'm gonna pack some blue in here and then I'll do the silver on top. It's actually not bad. It's just not the best, I guess. I'm just going to pack this silver shade on my lid. There it is. And it kind of looks like it would go good with the blue. Oh wow, this is cute. Let me see if I can like pack some more on to make it look brighter. I think it looks good, but I feel like it could be brighter. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so I have discovered that this palette is awesome. Um, my skills just kind of suck. <laughs> um, but the colors and the way they are working literally is awesome. And the fact that this is $3, uh, if you see it or run across, you know, like run into it, I would definitely recommend getting it already. I think I'm going to do a smidgen black. Just deepen it just a little bit. There we go. Just in the outer corner. So I'm going to take a little bit more of this cryptic color. Kind of blend this part up here better. All right, guys, this is a little rough. Um, I know I look crazy, but like here's the side. I'm gonna go ahead and just freaking do my foundation because right now I look crazy. Okay, guys, so I have my foundation, bronzer, contour. Um, I think that's it. Look how much better this looks already when just doing, I mean, this, Still could use some work, still needs a little practice, but this is like the first time I've ever done something like that. And the fact that I have hooded lids and I'm like trying to work with what I got here, it's really hard. I am gonna do the blue again, cause that's the color that's still in my brush. I'm just gonna pack that on under here. So there's the blue, I'm going to add some black towards the back corner here. Okay, 
so black liner's on. That looks so crazy. What else am I missing? I do need highlight on my brow bone and stuff, so I'm gonna take this e.l.f. one and just, we get to use this fan and add some highlight. I'm gonna use my Morphe Spark. It's broken, so I, don't, I can't really like lift it up to show you, but we're gonna test this out. Well, but it works really good. It's like a packing fan brush is what it is. Okay guys, so I almost thought I was done. Um, I'm gonna do the lashes, lower lash line, and that's it. Um, I just need to put on this lippy. It's a gloss in amber by Anastasia. It's a I mean, I don't know if it's going to go good with this look, but. Wow. This is a really good gloss. It's like really thick in a good way to where it's like the color really shows up. Like, I don't think you really need a um, lip liner with it. I mean, you could because I know sometimes I just use lip liners just to help guide me. All right, guys, I am all done. I had to grab um, Brody real quick. He woke up from his nap. This is how it looks. Um, not the best, I think, in my opinion. This gloss is super cute. I love the color for summer. My favorite side is this one, obviously, because to me, it looks better. It was way easier, and it did not take as long. And this side, it's like, from a quick glance, I think it looks cool. The more I look at it, the more it's like, eh. You can definitely tell I struggle doing this eye. Um, but yeah, I had fun doing it. It was an unintentional fire and ice makeup look, but um, I really wanted to, you know, test out the palette. So what, you know, what better way to test it out than to do two different looks with it. Um, there's more looks you can do with it, of course. I love the gloss that's from Marshalls. The palette was good. The little mini like fan brush is awesome. So if you see that, definitely grab it. It's kind of like a packing fan brush. So it like really packs the highlight on and it says it's like for eye highlighting, but you can, I think it's really great for the nose and the Cupid's bow and yeah. Um, I'm gonna go in the sun, see if it looks any different. All right guys, so my eyes are being sensitive to the light right now. The sun is not shining down. There's some clouds over the sun right now, but from what I can see, it looks pretty decent. Um, not the best, not the worst. I'm not a makeup artist. I don't know what I'm doing, but um, I think it looks pretty decent for someone who doesn't know what they're doing. Um, but yeah, I had fun making this look, like I said, an unintentional, um, you know, fire and ice look, but I think it's, you know, it was kind of cool that it came out that way. But um, anyways, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, then please subscribe if you'd like. Um, no pressure. If you push the notification bell, it'll notify you. Like it'll literally send you an alert that saying that I uploaded. Sometimes you can subscribe to someone and um, when they upload a video, sometimes you won't know till like days, weeks later because it doesn't really like pop up on the feed. It really only pops up, I think, if you push the notification bell. So if you're interested in that, then please go ahead and do that. But other than that, I hope you guys have a great rest of the day. And yeah, I'll see you in my next one. Bye.